Davis Ort 11 is an amazing smartphone that offers you most of the valuable specifications you need in a smartphone. You get a long-lasting 6000 mAh battery capacity with fast charging support, a large 50 megapixel night shoot camera that has the best low-light performance in this price range thanks to its wider f1.6 aperture size. You also get an immersive 6.82 cinematic display with a 90Hz screen refresh rate that gives you that smooth animations and fast navigations. It comes with a 4GB RAM which is large enough to give you a seamless experience and a massive 128GB storage which is plenty enough for your photos and video files. You can buy the only available 4 128GB model for about 89,000 Naira or $160, which I still believe is a good price when considering the competition and other top specs it has. But the presence of the MediaTek Helio G37 processor at this price range might be a deal breaker for some people. I expected the price to be a little lower or better still, if you hurry to the XPAC Nigeria website, you can grab the Infinix Ort 11 Free Fire Gaming Edition with a gift box worth 8000 Naira, which is a great deal. I always appreciate Infinix for the efforts they make in giving us an exciting and complete unboxing experience. It already has a plastic screen protector pre-applied to the screen. I hope Xiaomi, Samsung and other brands are learning one or two things from this kind gesture from Infinix. Infinix has been doing a pretty good job with the design and color scheme of their budget smartphones. The Ort 11 has an elegant looking two-tone pattern finish on the plastic back cover. There are four color options available but I prefer the exploratory blue color and it looks shiny and does a good job in hiding fingerprint smudges. There is nothing at the top side while the right side has the power button and volume rockers. To the left is the useful triple card slot with a dedicated SD card support of up to 5112GB of storage. The bottom side has the headphone jack, microphone, the unwanted micro USB port and a single firing speaker. Having a fingerprint sensor at the back instead of the side is quite disappointing in this price range, but it is fast and still gets the job done. You also get the option for using the face unlock technology which is also fast but not reliable as usual. Infinix claims that this is a premium display but I will say it is a good HD display for the price and you get to enjoy a cinematic viewing experience thanks to the massive 6.82 inches display size. Also, the presence of a fast and smooth 90Hz refresh rate gives a better feeling when scrolling and navigating the user interface. This is an adaptive 90Hz refresh rate and so you don't need to worry about battery life because it will only activate 90Hz where necessary. The display can just be bright enough for easy viewing under sunlight and also the display brightness can be very low for safe viewing at night. Although the bezels are quite big and the water drop notch seems like a downgrade for this price range. I always appreciate the fact that you can change the font style with numerous options. Also, the pick proof mode is always useful because you can protect or cover your valuable information while viewing the screen in a public or crowded place with lots of spies around. Please don't get me wrong, the MediaTek Helio G37 is one of the best low budget octa core gaming processor and being a new chipset launched few months ago, you can be rest assured it has the latest computational technology that is efficiently optimized and capable of handling most recent software demands processes and tax, with little or no lags in order to deliver a faster and smoother performance. The presence of a large 4GB RAM with good RAM optimization between the Android 11 software and Infinix SOS 8 user interface makes multitasking a lot better. I am impressed with the app per grand retention which lasts for a reasonable period of time and this also makes switching between apps a lot better. The latest MediaTek Helio G37 processor is also capable of delivering a good gaming performance but only at low to medium graphics settings and with some few frame drops as expected. For the PUBG lovers, the Ort 11 supports gyroscope sensor which you can activate to bring out the best in your shooting skills. And being a 90 hz screen refresh rate, the gaming experience is a lot captivating with faster response time and smoother operations. I didn't experience any form of intense heat during my gameplay. One major selling point of the Infinix Ort 11 is that long-lasting 6000mAh monster battery capacity. 
Thanks to Infinite's power marathon optimizations and depending on the screen refresh rate, you can get up to 16 hours of screen on time, which translates to more than a day's usage if you are a moderate user that browses most time with 4G LT mobile data, watch lots of videos online with the loudspeaker at max volume and depending on screen brightness level. To give you another feel of how long the large 6000 mAh battery performs, here are my battery test results. And you can see that the Hot 11 can give you many hours of use. Although, it is sad to see a 10 watts charger in the box because having a long lasting 6000 mAh battery capacity shouldn't have to be a blessing and a burden at the same time. It takes about 4 hours to fully charge the 6000 mAh battery with the 10 watt charger included in the box. But there is good news because it has support for 15 watts fast charging and this reduces the charging time to about 3 hours 15 minutes. Unfortunately, you have to spend more money to get a fast charger and the absence of the convenient and durable USB Type-C port is not necessarily a deal breaker for me. Another major selling point of the Infinix Hot 11 is the large 50 megapixel night shoot camera that has the best low light performance in this price range thanks to its wider f1.6 aperture size which is one of the major reasons for the high price tag of the Infinix Hot 11 smartphone. And this means the camera lens can take in much more light in order to produce a sharper, clearer and brighter image both in the day and especially in low light conditions. I am always impressed with Infinix camera algorithm and image quality even at this price range. The dynamic range is okay, color reproduction is good and you don't have to worry about image blur when capturing subjects in motion but there is still room for improvement. Most smartphones in this price range offers you a wide f1.8 aperture lens size and you will notice the difference or improvement you get from the wider f1.6 aperture size when taking photos during very low light conditions. I compared it with my Samsung A03s smartphone with an f1.8 aperture lens size and you can see the difference. Nice job Infinix. Unfortunately, there is no super nice mode which could have taken better advantage of the wider f1.6 aperture size to produce higher quality night photos. The 8 megapixel selfie camera with dual flash is decent at this price. It is quite manageable for social media but tends to give a warmer look which is far from real life colors. I expected a 16 megapixel selfie camera but 8 megapixel is okay when considering what the competition is offering at this price range. Hi guys, this is the front facing video camera test of the Infinix Hot 11. I'm shooting right now in 1080p, which is the maximum resolution. Can you let me know what you think about the audio and video quality? Thanks for watching. You would expect that the rear camera video quality should be capped at 2K resolution at this price range, but Infinix had other plans because 1080p is the maximum resolution for the Hot 11. Video quality is actually okay. There's also slow motion video mode, and you are only allowed to record at 240 frames per second. But it is quite disappointing that the maximum resolution is 480p. It should have been at least up to 720p resolution in this price range. The XOS user experience has been getting more interesting with the new UI design, and I would like to give kudos to the XOS team because they have been working seriously to meet up with the top standard, and the optimizations between the XOS 8 software and the Android 11 system is impressive. Everything seems to be responding fast and efficiently as if it is stock Android operation, except for the bloatware that could be a little annoying sometimes. They are not quite there yet but I appreciate the efforts and new customizations like the separation of the notification panel from the control center, which may require some getting used to for some people. I also love the new haptic feedback experience as it feels better and has been improved because you can now feel the sweet vibrations more frequently on a personal level as you navigate through the UI. Nice job Infinix. I expected the Hot 11 to come with dual stereo speakers but the single firing speaker sound is ok. In conclusion, the Infinix Hot 11 is an amazing smartphone that checks a lot of boxes with more pros than cons. But Infinix should have offered a more powerful gaming processor at the price of 89,000 Naira or $160. Let me know your thoughts about the Infinix Hot 11 in the comment section below. Kindly like this video, share this video and follow me for more reviews like this. Thanks so much for watching. Remain humble. 
and stay safe. Bye.